Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a polynomial equation from Sweden. We have p of x as a polynomial and the equation is p of 2x equals the first derivative of p of x multiplied by the second derivative of p of x. So this is kind of like a functional equation with derivatives, so you could also consider this like a differential equation. But at the same time, uh, p of x is a polynomial, so we can call that a polynomial equation too. So, we're going to start by looking at the degree of p of x. So, for that, let's use a special type of notation. Let's say degree of p of x. Let's just use deg as a notation. So, deg p of x just represents the degree of p of x. And obviously, if the degree of p of x is n, let's say, then the degree of p of 2x is also going to be n because replacing x with 2x does not change the degree. Now, what happens on the right-hand side? Let's figure it out. When you differentiate a polynomial, obviously, you reduce the degree. So suppose you have something like, you know, x cubed. When you differentiate, it becomes 3x squared. So the degree drops by 1. So if the degree of p of x is equal to n, then the degree of p prime, which is the first derivative, is going to be n minus 1. And the degree of the second derivative is going to be n minus 2. Great. Now, what happens if you multiply two polynomials? What happens to their degrees? Well, suppose you have x cubed and x to the fourth power. When you multiply them, you basically add the degrees. So, on the left-hand side, we have a polynomial p of, two, uh, two, uh, p of 2x which has a degree of n. And on the right hand side, we have two polynomials, one with degree n minus one, and the other with degree n minus two, n minus two. So this equation holds because when you multiply two polynomials, you add their degrees. Great, let's go ahead and solve this equation for n. This gives us, well, you can kind of get rid of the n here if you want, kind of cross it out. This gives you n minus three equals zero which means n is equal to 3. But remember, n is the degree of p of n, so we now know that the degree of p of x is equal to 3. In other words, p of x is a cubic polynomial. So let's write it like this. p of x ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Now from here, obviously, you can evaluate p of 2x easily, replacing x with 2x. That's going to give you 8x cubed, 8a, sorry, 8x cubed multiplied by a. So it's going to be 8ax cubed. And then this is going to be 2, 4, 2b, 2b or not 2b, great, okay. This is going to be like 4bx squared, right? And then it's going to be 2cx, and d is not going to change because that's a constant. So that's our p of 2 of, uh, p of 2x. And then let's go ahead and evaluate the derivative. The first derivative is going to be 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c. And the second derivative, which is the derivative of the first derivative, is going to be 6ax plus 2b. All right, great. So 2b or not 2b. Uh, we can go ahead and multiply these two together and set it equal to p of 2x. That's what we're supposed to do next, right? Let's go ahead and do it. Now, if I set ax, 8ax cubed plus 4bx squared plus 2cx plus d equal to the product of these, which is, uh, well, I can, I guess I could just go ahead and multiply them directly. Multiply this by that, so kind of distribute 18ax cubed plus 6abx squared. And then let's distribute 2bx plus 12abx squared. And then plus 4b squared x and then distribute the c, you get plus 6acx plus 2bc. Great. So from here, we can get a lot of good identities, but let's go ahead and simplify the right-hand side a little bit. So I'm going to rewrite the left-hand side. And the right-hand side, I can kind of combine like terms. So these two is going to give me 18abx squared. And then these two is going to give me 4b squared plus 6ac quantity multiplied by x plus 2bc. Okay, now since these two polynomials are equal for all values of x over the set of real numbers, 
we can set the coefficients equal to each other, right? So from here, what is going to happen? Well, you're going to kind of start by setting the, um, I think I missed something. Yeah, this is supposed to be a squared x cubed, not ax cubed. I just realized that I'm missing something there. No big deal, but that's what it is. So now here's the critical part. We said that P is a cubic polynomial because we found it by a degree discussion, right? But if you want a cubic polynomial, the A, the leading coefficient, should not equal zero. So that's required. Okay, great. Now let's go ahead and set these coefficients equal to each other. 8A is equal to 18A squared. Since A is not equal to zero, I can divide both sides by A. That gives me, well, actually, I, should, I was supposed to cancel out the two, not the A. Uh, so we get rid of one of the A's. So this gives us 9A equals 4 and A equals 4 ninths. Great. A is non-zero. Okay. Let's take a look at the other coefficients. So I, for example, I have this equality, 4B equals 18AB. Now in this case, A has a value, so we can go ahead and replace it. But notice that the only way to satisfy this, this equation, because this is a constant, this is a constant, so B has to be zero even if you don't replace A with something, right? That's going to happen because A is non-zero. If A is non-zero, B has to be zero. Okay, now we know that B is zero. Let's go ahead and set these two equal to each other. 2C equals 4B squared plus 6AC. But we know that B is equal to zero, so that's going to cancel out. Here, A is not zero. Therefore, we have the same situation. C has to be zero. Because you have something like 2C equals 5C, right? C has to be zero. Okay, great. C is also zero. How about D? Well, what do you expect, right? You can set 2BC equals D. And from here, obviously, since B and C are both 0, D is also going to be 0. So all the coefficients except for A is 0. And we are trying to solve for P of X, remember. And P of X can be written as AX cubed plus BX squared plus CX plus D. But everything except for A is 0. Therefore, P of X can be written as, and our A value is 4 ninths, 4 over 9 X cubed. So that should be our solution. And that should be the only solution. Since this is a polynomial, a very special type of, you know, function, right? But let's go ahead and check something here. You can also take this and plug it into the original equation to make sure that it works. It should work, but let's go ahead and check it out. So my original equation was p of 2x equals p prime multiplied by p double prime. Now p of 2x obviously is going to give you 32x cubed over 9 because you're going to replace x with 2x. That's going to give you 8x cubed and then multiply by 4. 8 times 4 is 32. This is the left hand side and let's see if they're equal. And the right hand side is going to contain the derivative. Let's go ahead and differentiate this function. When you differentiate, the 3 is going to be multiply. It's going to be 12 ninths and then reduce the power. But 12 ninths can be written as 4 over 3 x squared. And then if you differentiate this again, you're going to get 8 over 3 x. So that's going to be the second derivative. And let's go ahead and multiply those. The first derivative multiplied by the second derivative is going to give us 32 x cubed over 9 which is the same as p of 2x. So our solution actually satisfies the equation as it should. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.